Hello and welcome to today's problem solving challenge. Our problem today is a classic. It's called the six frogs problem and some of you may know it. And we've chosen it because firstly, you can put together a physical model using everyday items. And secondly, it's very instructive for some useful uh, problem solving strategies. So let's take a look at the um, the problem itself. So we have six frogs uh, and they're on seven lily, field, lily pads. The lily pads are in a straight line across a pond, which is unusual enough. But these frogs also, they don't like to get wet. So we have three frogs on one side and three frogs on the other. We can only have one frog on a lily pad and uh, there are certain rules about their movement. Now the three frogs on one side want to move to where the other frogs are and vice versa. Uh, the way I've heard this told is that there's three boy frogs and three girl frogs and we've used a, a bit of gender stereotyping there with the colors pink and blue. So the rule anyway is that the frogs can only move forward, they can only move onto an empty space and they can either go jump onto an empty lily pad in front of them or jump over a frog onto an empty lily pad or just over one frog. So you can uh, weave any story around this to just make it more fun. Um, so let's have a look. Now, a good start to any problem is often uh, just drawing a picture. So let us uh, try and set this up. That, uh, we'll have to move that a little bit. These are our lily pads. We need seven. And that's our lily pads done. And now we need our frogs. So I'm going to use whatever's at hand. In this case, I could find uh, three one denomination coin and three of another and these will serve as our frogs so it's a good start to uh, any problem uh, to draw a picture and we can go one step further then if we can make a physical model of it and it can be often uh, easier to um, to manage okay so here we have three frogs and three frogs they want to change position so let's go uh, it doesn't matter which side we start on because this is a symmetrical puzzle. So uh, whatever we do on one side could be done on the other. So here we go. We might move that forward or we might jump over him or her and land there. Uh, so you've essentially two moves. You could start this side and do the same two moves. So let's start and have a go. So that's a good, um, a, a good approach to any problem. Draw a picture get started and just have a go and see what see where you get to so here we go he goes to there and he goes to here and he goes on he goes over there goes on over there and we've one of them home okay so um if you're uh, very sharp you might spot that there's there's a problem because these can only move that way and there's nowhere for them to move so have a go. Um, this is trickier than it looks. Um, and uh, a lot of people just get stuck uh, very quickly. Now, the great thing about making up a, a physical model like this is that if you get stuck, you just rearrange them and start again. Um, now, perseverance, of course, is very important uh, solving problems. But, you know, after a while, if you're not making progress, come back to us and uh, have and uh, we'll give you a little bit more advice in the meantime stop the video here and have a go yourself make it up with whatever you can find around the around the house and have a go yourself and uh, come back to us and we'll talk about problem solving strategies